Hello people. I want to talk to you about a couple things. Today I'm just going to use my phone. Because of some wonderful people on here, I'm going to be able to get some extra tests done with Polly. And um, that's one thing about this community. And this goes for anybody that has a show in this community. Sometimes when you run into issues, you can ask for help and you get helped. There's not many places like that. There's not com many communities like that. And, um, but they also, you also have your detractors. You have just very mean people on here. Awful people. Um, and what they do is, and this goes for all of us with shows. We get attacked on a regular basis, usually by people that are just in the chat room that are worthless. You know, when I started this whole thing, and it's been months now, you know, it's going on a damn year. It was fun, and it's still fun. But the one thing that hasn't disappeared, and the one thing that's never going to disappear, are the arrogant assholes. And they're not even arrogant. You can go beyond that. You know what I say to them people? What you need to do, instead of bitching, moaning, and groaning, telling us how much we suck, or that we're scamming people. I've been on here nine months, ten months, never asked for a dime. And then someone that has been very close to me for the last eight months puts up a, a thing because they know Polly's sick. And it was a surprise. And then I go on her page and answer her, but yet other people question it because it was so fast. Um, this is the age of computers, people. You get to reply very fast. But the detractors that just want to attack and call people scammers continuously, they're the scammers. They're the people with horrible lives. And what they have to do is they got to come in here and attack. Do you know that someone, I caught someone up in the show the other day saying, I found that Lee owed a vet from 14 years ago. 14 years ago, people. They don't know the story behind the bill. They don't know nothing. They just started talking about it. And, another, and a content maker with a, with, a, with a pretty good size show pulls it up. And this is the problem. You know, maybe if we stop pulling up stuff so much that some of these people in the chat room say, we wouldn't have these problems that we have. I'm game. But if you guys are going to do it, you're, you're going to have to accept the uh, consequ consequences when I do it. So instead of me talking about Polly, you know, and being all happy because people help me because of some of the attacks online. It's okay. She's still our dog. She's still here today, at least. And hopefully they won't find something where I have to make a horrible decision. It's not something I want to do. Okay. And as for subs, there's been some talk going on about people buying subs and stuff and why people that know about it don't say something. That's a very good question. And I'm not going to even, you know, I'm not going to say that question is a bad question. Because that person's right also. Because I would be asking this question if it was vice versa. But here's how I look at it. I'm not buying subs. I have never purchase subs. I have never purchased views. There's no way anybody can find any evidence of me doing it, period, plain and simple. My broke ass can't afford to spend my money on shit like that. But there are people that can afford it. And yes, there are shows here that are very suspiciously of going growing. Uh, their numbers don't make sense. But here's what it comes down to. I'm not going to accuse these people because they're the ones who have to live with it. If they're building up their channels on all false bullshit 
and they're buying subs, they're buying views and likes. I mean, <laughs> it's not hard for people to tell if people are buying this stuff. All you got to do is look at the numbers in the chat rooms and stuff. And anybody is welcome to look at anything. Anything I've ever done and in my chat rooms and everything. So you're not going to see anything suspicious. Then I had this one content maker say, uh, I was talking about Sammy Gravano getting the algorithm. They go, well, he just did a Sammy tape recently and it didn't get nearly as many views or anything. That's because algorithms don't last. you got to get in the algorithm at the right time. And instead of everybody hating on Sammy Gravano right after he did his show on TV, what they should have done is they should have put up videos. It's not tough to figure out. And it's like riding a wave, and the wave is hot. You just stay right on that wave. See, that's called being smart. And this is where us as content makers... We mess up our own shows because we take sides. So we can't ride these waves because we don't want to hurt other people's feelings. Are you kidding me? Each and every one of us have our own shows. How we run our shows and what we put up is our business. Nobody else's. I don't give two hoots what anybody else puts up. Heck, they've done shows on me and on, on, on all, well, you know, probably me and maybe one or two other people. And then, let's talk about friendship. You have very few friends in this. We don't know each other. People that you think are your friends are the biggest backstabbers going. This has happened to me recently. You know, two, you know, two scumbag moves by two scumbag people. And we know who they are. And we know who the other ones are that aren't even talking about me. If people do it to each other all the time here. And, and we're all guilty of it. We all try to find friends here. But then we've been into to this for a year now. And we're starting to understand... The hell with the friend crap. Do your own show. If somebody comes after you, tell them to go to hell. If you want to do a show on anybody, do a show on that person you, you want to do it on. Don't let anybody intimidate you. There's nobody out here that's going to intimidate me. I've had a damn fucking rough life. I'm 61 years old. There's no one that's going to fucking intimidate me. Nobody. That's why I'm still here. The people that are still here with their shows, you know why they're still here? Because they're some tough son of a bat bit bitch. <laughs> tough son of a bitches. That's why they're still here. And it's like, a, a, all this is is battle scars. We went through life with tons of battle scars. Now we're in the YouTube world and you're getting shot up all the time. And only the tough will survive. And we know who the tough people are, and we know who the weak people are. And we know who the biggest scammers are on here. People that you think are your friends. People that you trust. The people that you like. And they turn out to be cowards. And when you catch them in the act, what do they do? They pretend they're innocent, and then they turn on you. But well, you know what the difference is? The survivors here know who they are and who they're not. And I can tell you one thing. We know who's going to survive here. I know. I'm a good judge of tough people. And we know who the tough people here are and who the weak people are. And the weakest people are the ones that are in these chat rooms and they jump on shows and they act like experts. But they don't have the balls to put up their own show. They have no balls to put up content whatsoever. Those are the biggest cowards on all of these YouTubes. Especially in this genre. This ridiculous genre that we're all caught up in. 
But, you know, I'm not going anywhere, people. I like doing this. And if anybody thinks I am, and for those people that my little baby, uh, yeah, and I call her my little baby, Polly, is fighting for her life. And you have people get on here and say horrible things. Horrible things. Shame on you. And anybody that wants to, to help somebody on here, nobody's forcing them to do it. Nobody's calling up and saying, you better give us money. If you don't give us money, we are going to turn on you. That's what they say. Let me show you something here, people. This is Polly. Hey, Papa. Hey, this is Polly right here. Hey, Polly. I'm going to go to the vet in a few minutes. And I'm taking her to the vet in a few minutes. That's Polly. And, you know, I was thinking about myself when I go to the vet today. I was going to shoot it and put it up. Just to, you know, just so people could see that how serious I am. But fuck these people. I'm not doing that. I'll do it if I want to do it. Not because we have some weirdos running around calling people names. I had to have this one girl calling me a racist. There's no, none. There's not, you can't find in any of my shows anything racist I ever said. This person is a racist. She just hates people. Uh... And she's taking it out on, well, let's leave it like that. We know who she's taking it out on. We know who she hates. And we know who she is, people. You see her in the chat rooms with her big mouth. And she's just such a miserable, miserable woman. And I use that word woman very sparingly. But thank you guys for everything. <laughs> I'm sorry to end it on that and say thank you for everything. But thank you for everything. I appreciate everything that's been done. And for you people that have helped with Polly, I really do appreciate it because you do not have to help. And there's no guns being put to anybody's head for them to help anybody. So I got an idea. Mind your own business. And you people in the chat room that are out of control, attacking all the content makers, shut up and get your own show and show us what you can do. Otherwise... You're just a big mouth. Nothing more. And besides that, that's all I have to say, people. Uh, God bless this country. And you know something? A, a long time ago, when I was a kid and then I was middle-aged and stuff, I never thought I'd see this country the way it is today. That's what we should really be concentrating on, people. I just voted this week. Make sure you go out and vote. Every election is important. And it doesn't matter who you vote for, as long as you go out there and vote. But anyway, thank you so much. If you have not subbed, please sub to my channel. Uh, if you want to help with Polly, there's information in there. If you don't, you don't have to. But because of the kindness of people, I'm able to get things done for Polly that can help save her life that I couldn't get done a couple days ago. Thank you all. Bye.